Hey YouTube, Briar Barbarian here. Got home uh, not too long ago from work. Exhausted, sore. And what do I find at the front door? A parcel. This is uh, something I've ordered from the Danish uh, pipe shop. So I just wanted to open it quickly because the kids are inside with the wife. Exacto. It is really taped up well. Paper off. Oh, yeah. Wow, even a little extra in here. What is this? Candy. It's like a, a licorice pipe. Yeah, I think it's like a licorice pipe. Skipper's Pipes Original. Interesting. I'm not complaining. I always like extras. So I ordered three things. Two of them. Samuel Gallus Brown Sugar Flake. Can't wait to try this. Everybody's been talking about it. So, got me some of that. And I picked up a pipe. It was a discount pipe. It was on their like clearance uh, section. Nice. This is an Orlick uh, Street Billiard. Very nice. Not too much. I really like the uh, rustication. So, oh, it's on the top. I saw it on their site and I'm like, an Orlick pipe? Never heard of this. So I was like, I'm going to pick me up one of these. Made in Denmark. Very good. So I can't wait to try this out. I'll probably try it in this pipe right away. Hopefully it's not uh, sopping wet. Most likely it is because most of the Samuel Galvis stuff is. Except for uh, tins you buy in Canada. Tins you buy in Canada. Um... We have a distributor here. They're, they used to have a store. It was called Poo Parts downtown Montreal. And um, they were a distribu distrib distributor for like um, Vosco, uh, Pipes and Cigars, and as well as uh, Bladder and Bladder, the famous Bladder and Bladder uh, in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And uh, she would hoard tobacco and it would sit there for years. So sometimes when you buy a tin, it would have rust around the edges and it was already pre-aged so you're paying i mean regular canadian price which is really expensive but i mean it's probably been aged for 10 years because every time i bought a tin like uh the best example is samuel gowis um balkan flake and i'd open the tin and it's like marbled already it was black and white and dry bone dry when i bought a tin one time ordered it from the states it was sopping wet that i just let it sit out for like days but um yeah it's quite something when you buy a tin and it's already been aged but i always find like uh balkan flake is so much better when it is aged i mean there's nothing wrong with it fresh but when it's aged it's so much more smoother and uh burns cooler um and it's just uh something so i'm gonna crack this open soon and see uh Maybe if I can open it now. Yeah, what the hell? I'm going to open it now. I can get this sucker open. There we go. Mmm. Smells sweet. 
It's got a sweet Virginia smell. It's moist. And I'll grab a nice flake. They're thin flakes. Very nice. Smells really nice. I'm not a big Virginia type person, but I don't mind it if it's prepared well. Straight like ribbon cut Virginia, not a fan. No, that's nice. Can't wait to try that out. So I'm going to try it out there uh, when it's a little bit drier with the Orlick pipe, and uh, I'll let you guys how uh, how it goes. All right, thanks a lot as always, guys. Have a good one.